one not unreasonable response to watching Amor, Michael Haneke's ruthless exploration of old age decline, would be to contact a hitman right away. Someone who'd agree for a fee to monitor your medical records and then, when it was time, take you out cleanly. Because it is a frightening inch by inch route to death that Haneke describes in Amor, only more awful for the honesty with which this director and his brave cast present it. Mais tu fais quoi Tu avais laissé l'eau couler. Dis donc, qu'est-ce qui t'arrive Tu es complètement folle C'est une blague Pardon C'est une plaisanterie ou... Anne is 85, a retired music teacher who suffers one stroke and then another. Her devoted husband Georges has promised in better times not to put her in a hospital and so cares for her in their Parisian flat. The love of the title is his. Before long, Anne cannot always recognise Georges Meanwhile, he watches, hopeless, as her body and mind deteriorate. Finally, he is so wrung out that when a pigeon flies in through the window of their flat, he wants not to catch it or kill it, but embrace it. Watching, you want to offer a hug and be hugged yourself. This is a devastating film. Tu ne vas quand même pas malmener ton image sur tes vieux jours. Tu m'en garderais bien. It's unusual for a subtitled foreign film to be nominated for Best Picture. Bookmakers say Amour hasn't got a hope of winning. Commentators that it's a triumph for it to be nominated at all. But the favourites for this category tell mostly of American concerns. Presidents, terrorists, families gathering to watch the Sunday game. Best Picture in 2013 should reward a film with concerns that aren't American, aren't French, only deeply, deeply human. <laughs>